I want you to write down something, okay? So now I am just uh, telling you after your breakfast, please write down, okay? Or one more thing, what I can do is I can send you this uh, PDF also, okay? Okay. So the topic is, so this is the topic is about the habitant environment. Okay, so what is the meaning of the environment? We are aware about this thing. The surroundings in which an animal or plant lives and it's called its yes. environment. Yes. So like your environment is the things that is around you. Like animals, plants, okay, human beings. Okay, all these are the part of the environment. Like a little insect is also environment. A little flower is also an environment. Okay, any animal is there that is also environment. A human beings are everyone that is with which we are surrounding that is known as environment living okay. things are surrounded by living and non-living both okay for example we are living beings why we are living beings tell me because we're biotic components because we are because okay. Yeah, living beings. What is the difference between living and non-living? For example, if I am sitting here and this pen is sitting, I mean sitting in the, like there is a pen in my hand. Yeah. So this pen is non-living and I am living being. So now you have to tell me why I am living and this pen is non-living. Uh, the the pen has no life and humans have life. Okay, and some other points. Um, yes, yes. That the pen cannot move and humans can. Very good. So first is life. Okay. Second is movement. Third, what you are doing? What you are doing right now? Yes, yes. I am. Yes. You uh, are. Talking? Eating. Eating, eating something? Yeah. So eating is the one thing that is in the living beings. Like we can eat. This pen cannot eat. And. Some other thing. Just think about this thing. Like what you are doing and what the this pen is not doing. Tell me. Um, like the pen is not talking. Okay, good. So it cannot talk, but we can talk. Good. Next. The pen is not moving. Very good. The pen is not moving until, until or unless I am forcing on it. I, if I am just throwing it, then only it can move. But itself, it cannot move. Very good. Next. It, it doesn't breathe. Yes, very good. It cannot breathe. We can breathe. So, next. Very nice, very nice. At least you are thinking about it. At least you are just... Using your brain, like, what are the differences? Otherwise, I can tell you. If these are the differences, you have to learn it. But no, I want you to just think about this thing. It doesn't have any bodily One more functions. thing. It doesn't have any? Bodily functions. Very good. We, are, we can uh, have so many of bodily functions. And one more thing is, it cannot grow. Oh, we can grow. Yes, it cannot reproduce. But animals, human beings, living things can produce. So these are the living and non-living things. So can you please tell me some living and non-living things around you? A mouse. Okay, that is living. Okay, mouse of the laptop. 
I mean yeah. computer. Yeah. Okay, so that is non non living. I thought the mouse that is in our house is. Ah, uh, um, a book. Book non living correct. Sorry. Paper. Correct. My computer. Okay. Um, glasses. And glasses correct. Okay, this is about the non-living things. Now tell me some things that are living that is around you. Uh, living. Yes, living. Me. Good. And. Um. My sister. Okay, except from human beings. My pet fish. Okay, good. Nice. Next. Any plant is there in your house? Oh yeah. My money. That are living. Yeah. Yes. So these are the living beings. Sorry, my. My uh, my sister's money tree. Okay. Good. All right. So this is the environment. Everything around us is the environment, either that is living or non-living. Now, what is the ecology? The science that studies the interaction and interdependence of living and non-living things is known as ecology. So basically, the living and non-living things are depending upon each other. For example, if we have to go to some place, so we will use bike, cycle, car. So we are depending upon the non-living things. Okay, if we want to eat something, so we'll use the living beings. For example, we will take something from the plants, from the animals. So that is the living being. So basically, this is the interaction and interdependence of the living and non-living things in the environment that is called ecology. Okay. Okay, next is in the ecology, there are some components. First is a biotic component. So what is the meaning of a biotic components? It's the living parts in the environment. Yes, the known living parts of the environment is called biotic function, like light, air, water, soil. Or basically we are depending upon that also. We are depending upon the light, we are depending upon the air, water and soil. On everything we are depending what is the biotic components? Antibiotic. Now, a biotic we have done. Now, we are going to the biotic. Biotic. Um, the living parts of an environment. Yes, the living parts. Okay, a biotic means which are not living. Like in biotic is which are living. And the living Human parts are body. human. Body. Yes. So we are biotic component like so plants, animals, microorganisms. These are the biotic components. Okay. Okay. So we have done how many definitions? First is environment. What is the definition of the environment? The surroundings in which an animal or plant is called or is in living. Yes. So that is environment. Second is what is living things and what is non-living things and the differences that we are, we are done. Next yeah. is ecology. Ecology is the interaction of and interdependence upon living, uh, interdependence of living and non-living things in the environment that is known as ecology. So that is the ecology. Next is abiotic and the biotic. Abiotic, non-living parts. Biotic, that are the living parts. Now the producers. So we are aware about this thing. Producers, we have done this thing because in the food chain, food web, we have done this by uh, producers and all. Okay. Yeah. So the producers are the components of the environment that can produce their own food, like plants. Okay. They can make the food with the help of the water and the carbon dioxide gas in the presence of the chlorophyll in the sunlight. What is that? process 
in which they are making their food. What is the name of the process? Yes, we have done this thing. Huh? Name of the process with which plants are making their food. Photosynthesis. Yes. So now the plants are the producer.